वेलकम टू फार्मेकोमेनिया टाइप बी और बिजार टाइप ऑफ एडवर्स ड्रग रिएक्शन टाइप बी इज बेस्ड ऑन द पिक्युलरिटी ऑफ द पेशेंट नॉट ऑन ड्रग्स एक्शन नो डायरेक्ट रिलेशनशिप टू द डोज ऑफ द ड्रग डेवलप ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इम्यूनोलॉजिकल रिएक्शन ऑफ द ड्रग जीनेटिक प्री डिस्पोजिशन लाइक इड्यूसिंग्रेटिक रिएक्शन इट इज लेस कॉमन नॉन डोज रिलेटेड जनरली मोर सीरियस रिक्वायर विड्रॉल ऑफ द ड्रग रिएक्शन कैन बी प्रिडिक्टेड एंड प्रिवेंटेड इफ जीनेटिक बेसिस इज नॉन एंड सुटेबल टेस्ट इज डन अनएक्सपेक्टेड ड्रग रिएक्शन कैन बी सब डिवाइडेड इन टू हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन जीनेटिकली डिटरमाइन एडवर्स ड्रग रिएक्शन एंड एडियोसिंक्रेटिक ड्रग रिएक्शन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी ड्रग रिएक्शन कैन बी सब डिवाइडेड इन टू ह्यूमरल एंड सेल मीडिएटेड एलर्जी फर्स्ट इज द ह्यूमरल टाइप ऑफ एलर्जिक रिएक्शन इट दे आर सब डिवाइडेड इन टू टाइप वन और एनाफाइलेक्टिक रिएक्शन टाइप टू और साइटोलाइटिक रिएक्शन एंड टाइप थ्री और रिटार्डेड और आर्थरस रिएक्शन and b type is the cell mediated or type 4 or delayed type of uh, hypersensitivity reaction uh, type of uh, type 1 is the anaphylactic reaction uh, antibody fix on the mast cell on exposure of the drug antigen antibody reaction occur and release of histamine feisty leukotriene like uh, mediators ultimately symptoms appear like urticaria itching angioedema bronchospasm and rhinitis and anaphylactic shock can occur also called it is it is also called as immediate hypersensitivity reaction and treatment is the uh, first choice treatment is antihistaminic and other drug can be given if uh, depend on the severity of the reaction hapten bind to the body protein and form antigen stimulation of formation of antibody and these antibodies remain in the body and next appearance of the antigen into the body antigen uh, antibody bind with the antigen and form the antigen antibody complex and this complex bind with the mast cell and release the some kind of the leuco um, some uh, mediators like uh, histamine leukotriene feisty and this mediator causes symptoms of the allergic reaction will appear so this is the anaphylaxis and uh, symptoms are loss of consciousness swelling of tongue inability to swallow rapid swelling of throat tissue and uh, lips so now type 2 cytotoxic reaction drug plus component of the tissue cell act as antigen so drug plus our own body's tissue act as antigen resulting antibody bind to the target organ and this antigen antibody reaction take place and complement is activated cytolysis can occur thrombocytopenia aplastic anemia and organ damage can occur due to cytotoxic reaction type 3 retarded arthrosis reaction mediated by circulating antibodies igg antigen antibody bind complement and precipitate on vascular endothelium giving rise destructive inflammatory response and ultimately manifested as rashes serum sickness polyarthritis nodosa steven jensen syndrome and reaction will subside within 1 to 2 weeks type 4 delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction it is mediated through sensitized t lymphocyte carrying receptor of antigen on contact with antigen t cell produce lymphokines a antigen is contact with t cell and t cell will produce lymphokine which attract granulocyte which generated inflammatory reaction example are dermatitis rashes fever photosensitization reaction take place within more than 
12 hours to develop. Now management of all kind of allergic reaction. First of all, stop the offending drug in all type of allergic reaction. In mild reaction, no treatment is required. It will subside automatically. In moderate reaction, antihistaminic drug can be given. In severe type of the allergic reaction like anaphylactic shock or urticaria, oxygen therapy should be given injection adrenaline 0.5 mg 1 is to uh, 10,000 uh, 1 is to 1,000 concentration of adrenaline should be given intramuscularly or subcutaneously H1 antihistaminic like chlorpheniramine 10 to 20 mg should be given at the time of reaction intravenous glucocorticoid in severe cases hydrocortisone succinate 200 mg followed by oral therapy like prednisolone 20 mg 4 times a day. Prevention of allergic reaction. Skin testing for type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. But this test is not reliable and it can be false positive or false negative result can occur. So this, is, this test is not 100% valid. Commonest drug causing hypersensitivity reaction are penicillin, cephalosporin, sulfonamide, tetracycline, salicylate and glucocorticoids. These all are drugs very prone to hypersensitivity reaction. Thank you.